Hey, what's up guys, Alligator here, and Google today announced and released Google Chrome for iOS, and it is available for download right now in the App Store for free, and you can download it on your iPhone, iPad, and iPad Touch. Now, I'm really happy this finally came to the uh, iPhone or the iOS devices in general because it is my favorite browser on my computers, and being able to use it and have all my settings on my phone is just awesome because um, let's say you leave a tab open on your computer you can pick it up where it was through the syncing on your phone now it doesn't have to be an Android in order for that to be available so you can see here it is finally released uh, in the settings you can sign in for syncing and there's also a voice search now available which actually works really well you can see it's also available in a lot of languages um, you will see a demo of it later on in this video and it actually works really well so um, it, you can see it has the basic settings of Safari but instead of being in the settings app it's within the app itself which I do not mind I actually don't care where it is also the saved passwords on your um, computer let's say those can be found here on your phone too if you want that to transfer over so you don't have to worry about logging in uh, when you visit a website for the first time on your iPhone iPad or iPod touch Chrome for iOS also handles multiple tab browsing much better than Safari does and by pressing of a button you can see all the tabs you have open which is much more convenient than swiping one by one in Safari also, you can start a new incognito tab right away from the browser itself, unlike Safari where you'd have to go to the settings, turn on private browsing, do what you need to do in private browsing, be that banking or whatever, and then go back to the settings and turn it back off, which is very inconvenient. But here, you can just open a new incognito tab, do what you need to do real quick, and then close it. You can also swipe between multiple tabs by um, swiping from right to left or left to right, depending on which direction you want to go to. There's also a built-in voice feature. What's today's date? Which you can see works really well and is very accurate. As I said earlier, hasn't made any mistakes for me so far. And whatever you say, it Googles it. So here it is. What is the weather like in California? This isn't, of course, new to iOS. It was available in the Google app, but um, you'd have to go to the app itself just for that one feature. It's nice to have it built into your probably now default browser. Now, saying default browser does not mean that any link you open throughout the system will open pages through Google Chrome. It'll still go through Safari as Apple does not allow you to pick your own browser. So you're still stuck with Safari. Hopefully, that'll be a feature that'll be added in iOS 6. It'll give you the ability to pick your default browser. You can, as I said earlier, sync with your computers or other devices such as a tablet to keep your bookmarks, favorites, open tabs even available to you on your phone or iPad. You can see here is a demo of the multiple tab, how easy it is to switch between different tabs. And it also has a very clean interface, which is one of the key features of Google Chrome on the desktop. So that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and check it out for yourself on the App Store. And I'll see you guys in my next video.